It's the beginning of a new year, and that probably means that there's a goal or two on your list or maybe a new habit that you want to build, drinking more water, moving more, things like that. So this week, I'm going to be showing you how I use Trello to help me stay on top of and actually stick with those new habits to help me achieve my goals. But before we dive into this, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that little notification bell so that you never miss a tutorial or upload. So we're going to go to this habits list, and let's just start with what I consider the first habit that any new Trello user should start building, and that is to open Trello. And we're going to do this for every single day. So we've got our open Trello. We're going to go ahead in here and give it a due date to start with. Let's just start with tomorrow because I would like this to be the first thing that you do every day. I think it's the best way to kind of reprogram and train your brain to think about Trello as that source of truth and how you're supposed to spend your day. Let's be generous and say that we start our day at 6.30 a.m. So then we're going to go in here real quick and say at time of due date for when our reminder is going to pop up because we're going to have the Trello app on our phone. I know you may be someone who doesn't like putting apps on your phone or maybe you prefer email notifications. You can do this with an email notification, but in my personal experience, using the app and having these app reminders is far more effective than allowing your email notification to be what starts your day. And just one small reason for that is once you go into your email to see that notification in the first place, there's a really good chance there's going to be a bunch of other emails in there and your brain is going to want to go and deal with them first. So it's best if you can really just focus in and let the Trello app on your phone be what prompts you to open Trello and get started with your day. Okay, so we're going to go ahead with that. We've set that up. Now we're going to set up the actual recurring automation. So we'll go into automation. We're going to go into rules. And we're going to create automation. And our trigger here is going to be when that due date is marked complete. Because as you set up the first one, it's going to automatically pop up that reminder tomorrow. But then when you open Trello or do whatever habit you have set for yourself, you're going to then mark that due date complete. And when you mark that due date to complete, we want it to automatically push the due date for tomorrow. So that action, that physical action of you marking it complete is what is going to trigger this automation. We're going to go to the dates tab right here. And we're going to say when the due date is marked as complete. Now you can just leave it like that if this is the only card on your board that has a due date reminder and things like that. But let's just assume that we want to focus in on habits for this and that other things on your board are going to have due dates and not be a recurring reminder. So we're going to click on this little funnel and we're going to say in list habits. OK, so that's how we're going to specify. You can do that in other ways. If you don't want the entire list to be daily, you can then come in here and you could go to content, for example, and say with a name. And this is talking about the card name starting with, or I typically go with containing because it's a little more all encompassing. And then you could type in the text of what the card is called. So you can get that granular and just recur one particular habit. But if you're going to be building on this in the future and adding habits as each one becomes a habit, we're going to habit stack, then anything you add into that habits list that has a due date on it will automatically be picked up by this automation if you stick with the way that I had set it up just doing it based on the list, okay? So we'll hit this blue plus sign and then we're going to tell it to reset. So we're going to say take that date, move the due date, and we're going to come and click in here for more options and we're going to say to tomorrow. And we're going to hit this little plus sign so we can see here, move the due date to tomorrow, hit that big blue plus sign. And then this right here is the most important step. If you forget or don't do this step, this will not recur. So we're going to add another action. We're going to come, it's going to automatically default to the dates tab because we were just on it. We're going to say mark the due date as incomplete and go ahead and hit that blue plus sign. And 
just in case you haven't figured out why that's so important, if you don't add that action, then yes, it will push the due date forward, but it's going to see it as already done, which means that it won't remind you, which means that essentially our recurrence dies before it even gets started. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. Our automation is complete, it's set up. And I just want to show you really quick how this will work. So obviously this is due tomorrow, but because our trigger is when it's marked complete, it doesn't care that I'm marking it complete today. It will still trigger our automation to run. So when I click it, what you're going to see, and it might take a second, is that it will move itself. It'll turn green. Then it's going to change from Jan 7 to, actually, I just realized something. It is a little bit going to care because of how I set up that automation. There are a couple of ways you can tell it to push it out a day. And I specifically chose to push it to tomorrow, right? So if I were to test this with Jan 7 as the date, it's going to work, but it's going to keep it on Jan 7, right? So I'm going to go ahead and switch it to Jan 6, just so you can see it actually change the date, okay? So it's going to turn green, change to, from Jan 6 to Jan 7, and then become incomplete again, and it'll be yellow again, okay? So let's go ahead and click on that and give it a second to run through those steps, Jan 7. And you can see how it's already yellow again. That's because it is not complete, okay? And that is important. Because we already have the due date reminder set on that due date, that will automatically recur as well. And just for those of you who are curious to see what would have happened if I had tested it the first way, let me just show you. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. It's gonna turn green, and then it's simply going to turn yellow again because, again, it was already due for tomorrow. So does that make sense? Let me actually really quick, since it's on my mind and I can't not show you, let me show you how you could have done it differently so that that wouldn't have happened. It would have just pushed it forward a day and not automatically set it for tomorrow. Okay, so let's go ahead in here. We're going to find our enabled automations. Here we go. Here's our automation. We're going to go in and edit it real quick. And instead of saying move the due date to tomorrow, we're going to change that. So let me just hit this little trash can. We're going to add another action. We're going to go to due dates and we're still going to do move the due date. But instead of choosing the tomorrow option, we're going to just say move it by one day. And we're going to hit this little plus the that little plus sign and then the blue plus sign. And then we're going to actually move that up because this is a situation where order of operations matters. We don't want it to mark it incomplete again before it pushes the day. It could cause issues if you do that. So order of operations, order of how things happen within the process matters. Let's go ahead and hit save. And we just saw a minute ago how when it was set to be due tomorrow, it still worked, right? But our date didn't change. But now, even though it's already due tomorrow, because I've made that tweak to the automation, when we check this, it's going to push it forward to the 8th, even though that's technically two days away from when I'm recording this. Let me just show you. We're going to click it. It's going to turn green. It's going to change it to the 8th. And look at that. And it's not yellow because it is more than 24 hours until it is due. That's how the color coding works on Trello due dates is that when it's more than 24 hours, it's just this kind of gray, neutral look. When it's due within the next 24 hours, it's yellow. When it's like due or overdue, it turns red, and that's to grab your attention. And then when you mark it complete, it turns green, okay? I hope you find this helpful, and whatever habit you're going to be starting this year, this is, in my opinion, the best way to help you stick with that habit. And I want to know what habit are you going to be starting this year? What are you going to use this for? Let me know that in the comments. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy. I hope you liked that video and more importantly that you found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing it with a fellow solopreneur. And make sure you check out the description for links to how we can connect and maybe even work together.